Today's activity is gonna be one for the record books. We finally got my ultimate design exhaust system from my new business, Opus. Now, the car currently has what you would uh, call a Rift exhaust. Now, the Rift exhaust is super cool. I developed this a long time ago with the, uh, I was one of the founders of Rift and um, I was uh, working really hard to make something really, really cool. But I wanted to make something moderately different than what existed. The first Rift exhaust went on a red car that I had. And uh, it was a good car. It was cool, it felt good, it sounded good. It definitely felt faster, but it made less horsepower. So that just tells me that we had a back pressure issue. So we increased the flow of the exhaust so much that the tune, you know, it needed to, uh, to account for all of that increased flow. So this time around, I was like, man, let's go full. Let's go all the way out. Let's get rid of all of the pipes that are factory and let's go full turbo back exhaust. And this time I changed the diameter of the pipe by, or, uh, by slimming it down a little bit. So I kind of wanted to increase the back pressure just a tad, but then also see if we can give it a little bit of a crazier sound. Um, and this is what we came up with. Just perfectly CNC, you know, the works, everything is machine made. Um, and it is going to look perfect. It's going to fit perfect and it's going to sound crazy. I'm gambling here. I don't know if this is going to increase or decrease the horsepower, but we've got Matt over at HD tuning. Who's going to tune all of my problems away. I'm willing to go and do that, but I want to dyno this car stock. Yeah. So we got the factory tune on it right now. So I'm going to, we're going to dyno with the factory tune and then I'm going to uh, take it down to uh, LA where uh, Matt has a dyno. Cause I believe the dyno jet facility as of 2024 did move to Montana. So they, they closed the Vegas location, moved to Montana. Oh yeah. Look at this. Got a little purple in it. Oh my God. Oh. Look at this. Got the diamond on the exhaust. What a great, just what a, what a great feature. You don't have diamonds on your exhaust, Andy. You just, you're not buying the right exhaust, right? That's a new one. Right? And we're making Opus for every car. Not just the hypercars. We're making them for BMW M5s. We're making for you know the uh, C63s. So if you guys watch and have a sports car, you guys can actually buy Opus for your car. And if you want, you can send your car here, and Andy himself will put your exhaust on. It's a real deal. You like it better than the other one, right? Yeah, I'm just not sure how <laughs> difficult it's going to be to keep it clean. We will not need it's to gotta, worry it's about gotta, that. It's got to finish on it. Huh? Yeah, we will not need to worry about keeping it clean. It looks good right out of the box. Once you install it, you're never going to see it again. That's true. So, as long as it sounds cool. Everything back there has to come out. Then we're dealing with getting the nuts and bolts off of the turbos. That's probably not the most difficult thing. It'll actually make it easier because I have to change the uh, wastegate springs and that's very difficult to do with the exhaust on the car. So. that was take these pieces out like this and Andy does the rest so let me show you guys let me show you the comparison here so diameter wise I changed the pipe by quite quite a big difference it's actually a half an inch 
Um, and like I said, when we did this, when we did this system here, we wanted it to be really big because <clears throat> we wanted to increase the boost pressure. But uh, with the, uh, the way we've been tuning it, we lost horsepower. So we'll see what happens this time with these uh, moderately less restrictive pipes. All I did was move this out of here, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> and he did the rest of the work. Holy shit. Jeez. These, um, these are like really heavy. They're steel. You can see the difference, right? How this piece is a little bit longer, and right here, like this whole thing basically is off by just a little bit. And uh, so it's kind of hard to get it on there. One thing we have to do is um, adjust the uh, wastegate pressure. When we first put the waste gates in, uh, as you know, they're aftermarket. Uh, I should have just bought factory turbos, but they're like $50,000. And I was like, oh, I'll just have these rebuilt. Super easy, no big deal. To my knowledge, turbos are turbos. And I was right, but we just didn't check the factory waste gate settings. So originally it was too low and it, it only made 15 pounds of boost and it didn't make a lot of horsepower. So uh, we're gonna go back to stock, which is 18 and then we're gonna upgrade the uh um just kind of like the fuel settings because it's pretty simple so we're just gonna add a little more fuel we'll get some loud pops and bangs and stuff and it'll be enough we have the wrong size springs in the wastegate controllers which are these things up here you can see i've unbolted it i'm planning to take it out here once we take it out i will replace the springs put in the correct size of springs and uh reassemble it before we put the exhaust on because we have better access the way it is here with no exhaust on. The, the, the wastegate is uh, mind boggling to me. <laughs> Still don't really understand this whole uh, situation here. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't know what to do. Like at this point, I, I, don't, I don't want to mess with this anymore. Now the car did drive really well when we had the 10 pound spring in it, obviously it didn't make a lot of horsepower, but. Well, that's the other thing too, is, is we got those wastegate controllers from the people we sent the turbos to to rebuild, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it make sense that they tested the actuator and said, this is what you need and gave us a 10 pound spring? So no, I remember him calling me, asking me what kind of spring I want in there. Oh, so. So effectively what we've got is you use different springs inside the wastegate controller to um, determine what uh, when they open and close. And we have the wrong springs. So once I opened up the wastegate controller, I found that we have a 10 pound spring and an 11 pound spring. So the two of them go together and then create a 21 pound. Um, and we want to run this much lower than that. We want to run it so that the maximum boost is about 18 PSI. This one's done and ready to go back in the car. I gotta do three more of them. Um, we're effectively just taking out the uh, spring and putting in the smaller one. nuts look like after they've been heated up after they've been on the car for a while and that's what they look like when they're new hmm. just copper and uh, it doesn't like heat so much
story. I've looked at this for so long. I kind of want to unpowder coat everything black and make it all silver. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting silver wheels on it, putting the silver scoops on it, taking those off, getting them silver. I'm thinking about doing like all silver trim. <laughs> I don't think it would look good purple and silver, you know? So I don't know, I just whatever. I was just looking at it the other day and I'm like, damn dude, black and purple. But just this is what happens to a lot of uh, people that are creative. They look at their creation for so long, they start to hate it, right? It's not happening to me. I, I like this car. Um, yeah, if someone offered me a bunch of money for it, I might sell it, you know, FYI, maybe. Who knows, everything's for sale. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So, can't wait to hear what it sounds like. I think that's the biggest thing, is I just feel like it's gonna change the tone of the sound quite a bit. something it sounds exactly the same right now but we got to give it a little bit of gas see if it changes the tone a little bit at higher rpm because i feel like that's where it's going to make a difference basically want to go and just drive it around the uh, just the up and down the street here so that we can kind of I don't know just get some of the heat through the exhaust go from there we have an engine light because I think that we have something disconnected uh, in the rear clam or the rear you know shell there might be a temperature sensor or something like that because it came on way too fast like immediately sounds much better it's a it's it's just got more like uniqueness to it now um, it feels well you know feels better because it felt like it had more boost than the 10 pound spring <laughs> <laughs> 